The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Has some sad news, folks. Mr. Winsky won't be with us till tomorrow. Uh, his internet connections down there in Naples have been shut out for at least six or eight hours, he said. So we'll have him on tomorrow. But believe it or not, we have someone just as good in the house getting ready to ask a question and it's none other than mr z i hope he's called in already john are you there i am larry and john uh, i have a let, question let we, we have a question from one of our listeners is there any truth to the rumor that your family name being cheney with a c that your family named you john just so you would go by the moniker jc is there any truth to that rumor well uh how interesting that, eh? <laughs> hey, listen, the, bean, the beans are in the teens again. So, uh, what you know, with that report we had the other day, it looks like there's uh, no tomorrow, but tomorrow might come sooner than later. So what are you looking at, my friend? Yeah, just to let you know, I've, uh, I place very, very little uh, focus upon USDA data. I know <laughs> reports come out like there was a report yesterday. Yeah. But um, that's government data and the trade, you know, the combination of growers and dealers and, you know, uh, consuming buyers, uh, you know, it's this is their their, their necks are on the line here. Yeah. And whatever data they come up with gets into the marketplace uh, mm -hmm. weeks weeks and weeks before the USDA ever puts out numbers. So uh, uh, dates of USDA reports, yeah, it can be interesting, certainly causes some intra-hour volatility in many cases, no doubt about that. But the data that comes out in those reports, frankly, is usually in the markets. Um, and, you know, uh, Rich, uh, Rich Anderson, ha of course, has taught us that, uh, Simonly as well. So we, uh, we appreciate you introducing us to those people, you know, adding to your work. Um, uh, but uh, what I wanted to uh, call in and ask you, Larry, was to be prepared or be prepared in having some guess as to how to handle uh, this bean bull market should we get to higher highs. Now, just yep. by way of background, uh, I called you and asked for your help on bean oil. It was back on the first week of December, and that, that particular commodity, uh, and as you've rightly pointed out, something, what, 12 15% of a soybean when crushed gives you oil, the balance gives you meal, so oil is just a you know, small fraction of the, the, the total bean <clears throat> itself. Yeah. But uh, I bought it back then. Uh, that trade worked out very well, still in half that position, and I've been by, uh, I've been trading more actively the soybean futures. Unfortunately, I hadn't had as large a core long position in beans as obviously I would have liked in retrospect. But um, since the December lows in bean oil and beans, when at that time the uh, expectation was there would be plenty of beans to go around for the next year. And the idea was there were plenty of beans after the 2021 United States crop. And uh, Brazil was uh, just uh, planting a record amount of acreage to soybeans. Well, that was December. What has changed since uh, December 1st, these past uh, 70, 75 days, is adverse weather. Uh, southern Brazil and the heart of the Argentinian crop regions 
have gone through bouts of dryness and heat. And as a consequence, the expectation for Brazilian plus Argentinian soybean crop size that existed back there early December, and of course that was just at the start of the growing season, though the expectations on a, on a, excuse me, as a result of this adverse weather is for a crop size 15% smaller. And uh, this has tightened up things. And back in November and December, interestingly, uh, the Chinese, who are the world's largest soybean importer, and they just are massive buyers from both the U.S. and Brazil, Argentina, um, the, the Chinese had been uh, very sparse buyers of U.S. beans last October, November. And that was leading the marketplace to think, oh, well, you know, the Brazilian crop's going to be huge, price will stay low. Well, with this adverse weather, with the shrinking South American crop size, the Chinese during the past 60 days have been buying aggressively uh, on each and every dip, both Brazilian and um, uh, U.S. beans. And just remember, uh, as far as buying United States beans, there's still lots of beans grown last summer that's still, you know, in the silo there for the taking. Uh, and so that is being uh, uh, eaten away, if you will. So that's the background. My question okay. to you, Larry, is how do we handle, what do we look for, what price targets do we want to keep in mind if, in fact, soybeans, which uh, the March contract reach 16.30 this morning. Mm-hmm. If 1632, they rally yep. past last May's top at 1670-ish, what, uh, what projection targets do we want to keep in mind in setting up tactics to take profits on longs and potentially short sell if we get up over that, please? Okay, John, let me, uh, since we talked about the soybean being, you know, 80% meal, I look at the meal as giving me, you know, target projections when I can't find anything really significant in the in the November be- or the March beans themselves. Now, we had a 78% level there at uh, 16, uh, what, excuse me, 1582, uh, I can't remember the number, it was 20 cents lower. Anyway, there was a 78% level, 16, went to 16.01, uh, then we went up today to 16. 1632 uh, that was exceeded that so I went to the soybean meal and that was very clear to me you can see here we have a beautiful ABCD pattern coming here at 483 so I'm expecting meal to top in here at 483 which means the the beans will be topping and oil is already top John I think that uh, you got to be really careful there because it went up and made that 1.27 expansion and with that that report yesterday if you can't get oil up on a report like that John something's wrong I mean that's a that's as a monster report. That was like that CPI report today, but you know, maybe baloney like most of them are. But let's take, stay with us, John. I wanted to, we want to look at corn and we also want to look at wheat, okay? Thank you. Stay with us. Yeah, we'll be right with Mr. Z, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back talking with Mr. Z about the grain markets, and I posted the chart of the uh, March corn, John. As you can see here, we exploded off after that report. We're up another 20-some uh, cents from that level. But the key for me is you notice that 61% retracement there. Before the report, we backed off 20 cents, and uh, then we started to go back up. That means there's resistance at that 675 level. Uh, in the uh, March corn, in my opinion, and that'll be very strong resistance because it also matches up with a really nice ABCD there from the January low to where we are if we get to 675. I hope that makes sense, but that's uh, what I'm looking at on a technical basis. But the one that's really interesting and the one I happen to be most interesting in today was the uh, wheat market. And if you'll give me a second here, I will get it up because it was the what I thought was an easy one to do. We had a really nice, uh, this is an hourly chart here on the wheat. And with the reports out and everything, all this damage had been done. So I thought there at that uh, 797, 798 level that that was going to be a pretty good short sale. And so far today, we've been down, we dropped about 15 cents from that level. So that started to work. Uh, but, of course, I'm not looking for new lows or anything like that. I just want to see, you know, what the first profit objective could be so that's what i'm watching in the grains i think we're in the topping zone in wheat uh, excuse me in the meal and probably in the corn and probably in the beans we'll need more data here these next uh, today and tomorrow that'll give us a pretty good idea of uh, what resistance we've hit and what support we're on and then i'll look at a pattern to fit in between it and that'll give me a place to enter and that's what i'm waiting for Larry, thanks so much on that. Uh, I uh, appreciate your sharing those charts. I have one observation to share with you based upon those. Uh, as I look at the March, excuse me, the spot corn chart that you posted, I think you posted a longer term chart March. going back, including yeah. the corn highs last May. Uh, I, have, yes. uh, I, I just the observation I share is this. I compare and contrast the chart that you posted with the one that I just posted in the Tiger's Den just below. What I, uh, what I uh, observe is that your data import shows a top last May at 722. Um, and uh, I came up with a chart that showed the same thing, but I, 
I had something lurking in the back of my mind last week when I was looking at things, uh -huh. and I had recalled, gosh, didn't corn get up to like 770? And I went back, and lo and behold, last May, when the May contract was still trading, corn got up and made a top at 776. So 776 uh -huh. as a top. Wow. versus a 722 that you show and that I also show on another charting service of mine leads me just to observe when you're looking at the longer term ag charts it's often very helpful to go take a look at see what data service you're using what charting service you're using okay. and uh, in the event that one charting service did not pick up the spot high or the spot low it's not to say the uh, the one that didn't is wrong, but yeah. it's certainly different. And as sure. a consequence, when I see that, I do my FIB expansion and retracement mm -hmm. levels based upon both, you know, both sets of data. And in mm -hmm. so doing, in this particular case, I observe the FIB 618 on spot corn using the 775 high, which was May corn last year. That fib resistance is six seven zero, and we're mm -hmm. still underneath that, but very close. And sure. it was because of that phenomena that I, uh, as you saw in the Tiger's Den, I just booked a gain on half my long position that I've held for you know for months, uh, mm -hmm. um, just on the idea we're extended and we're approaching that fib six one eight, the seven excuse me the six seventy level. And that's yeah. using the 775 high that I come up with using that spot May contract from last year. Okay, well, that's good to know. Well, congratulations on a great trade. So keep them coming. You told the people in the den before it happened. And that's the main thing you got to remember, folks. So thanks, Mr. Z, for being on today, buddy. We appreciate your help. Anytime you want to come on, you let us know. You've got our number. Thanks for your help, Larry. I appreciate it. Bye now. Hey, we appreciate You bet. This Mr. Z, folks, John Cheney, he'll be back here with us again someday soon. Let's get on to the markets. Uh, folks, we've got wild stuff going on over here, to say the least. And I have to I have to show you some things that I think will be important. Maybe, maybe not. Yesterday, when we were on, I was posting a chart here uh, in the E-mini. It was only a 15-minute chart, but uh, it worked out for a little while. And of course, we went back and, uh, you know, made new highs and stuff like that. But today, what's really happened, uh, you have to, if, you, if you're not, you may, may or may not believe, believe in Fibonacci numbers. I, that I don't really care. But you got to believe in these algorithmic traders. Believe me, folks. Take a look at today. This is a perfect example of the algo traders, what went on today. In the S&P, look at this. We get the report. It's the most bearish report since they found out that Hitler was going to be king of uh, in, or Germany wherever he was. Okay, anyway, look at the look at the low the low from 2 days ago was exactly 50% and 3 days ago it was exactly the reverse reverse that. From 3 days ago it was exactly a 50% retracement and from yesterday it was a 61% uh, retracement. Now, the market took off like a bat out of hell. The only way that does that, folks, if there's people waiting to see those numbers. And that's basically a 135 number. You can see we rallied almost back and made a new high. And that new high was important for several different reasons. Let me let me get up here to show you because, you know, this market is fighting. Uh, you know, it's a giant battle going on between the bulls and the bears. And believe me, right now, you can take a you can take a coin, uh, a coin flip and d determine which who's going to be the winner here. But let me show you the uh, the chart on the. E mini S and P here, and I know I have it. I did it six times, so <laughs> I know I have it in here somewhere. What did I do with it, Larry? Come on now, don't let me down. Oh, this is ridiculous. These the problem that I'm having, folks, is these little charts are so doggone small that I can't even see them without uh, you know squeezing up. Ah, oh, there it is, right here. If I look closer, there it is, it's right in front of me, like a rattlesnake ready to buy no ai's today boys and girls i don't want to do that you'll notice here we had the three drive to a top pattern back on january the third we had the 61 percent retracement about eight days ago up there at uh, uh, 4581 we came down yesterday we went out and we hit that number exactly again 485 
The difference was exactly half a point. Today we broke down and we rallied back to it again. So you can see how important that number is at uh, 485. So that's uh, very, very important because of the fact that these numbers are hitting, and they're hitting them everywhere, not just in the... Uh, not just in the S&P, but they're hitting them in the NASDAQ also. And again, let me bring this to your attention on the NASDAQ. All I have to do, we've got to talk about the bonds because there's something really big happening in those bonds. And here is the NASDAQ. Same thing happening in the NASDAQ. You'll see, instead of hitting the 61% retracement, what the NASDAQ did, you see it made a 78% level off the February 1st high. So we'll be right back to talk about the Treasury bonds, folks. 877-927-6648. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading market and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, for the past 10 days or so, we've been talking about these notes and bonds so very, very uh, closely, I think. And you'll notice here the one we were looking at on that weekly chart. You can see here that we were heading down towards a little bit lower number. Uh, folks, we are uh, almost there. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it. And uh, T-Notes is right here. Here is where we are. This is just the, uh, the number we had in. You'll see here that comes in around 124 and a quarter. 
Uh, I, be- I know we're way below 126. Uh, whether we're going to hit that 124 or not, I'm not sure. But the important thing today, and, and this is really important because, you know, when you trade these things, you know, you're trading really volatile markets. So you want to not risk very much. And we, we had this beautiful pattern here uh, in the Treasury bonds. And we made a beautiful buy down there at uh, 52, 152.14. Uh, uh, they rallied a full handle, and uh, actually a little, little more than that. And uh, we, uh, uh, you know, it was $1,000, which we said, you know, move your stop to break even. And, of course, it hit it today. We gave up $1,000 in profit thinking it was going to go a lot higher. But once it went to a new low, oh, that was not good, boys and girls. Believe me, that was not good. Now, the whole thing hinges on whether these T-notes are going to hold there because the bonds have broken down. And, of course, we've been bearish. That was the first time we had a long position in quite a while. But it, it makes you look like the... Uh, the bonds on the weekly basis here, you could easily – here's here's another picture that on the daily basis on the bonds, what we were talking about. You see we had that beautiful uh, but butterfly pattern, and by golly, it worked for one day, and then it didn't. So you move on to the uh, next one of what you're looking at. But these these notes and bonds, they could literally melt down. I mean, they, they really could. They, we've been saying how bearish it's been for a long time. Folks, remember last year – come on, they were, they were trying to give us the crap about – about the uh, uh, negative interest rates. <laughs> I mean, a, a two-year-old would know know that that's baloney. And I had really smart people telling me how it was going to work, and they were telling me the long end of this and the short end of that, and the even or the yield of this and the yield of that. And I said, Yeah, but you know, will you do it? Will you give someone your money, and that you're gonna they're gonna charge you? Oh, well, no, I wouldn't do that. Well, oh, gee whiz. But the half of the free world is doing it. Come on, give me a break. All right, let's get back to the oil market. We had a giant profit in the oil market. We gave half of it back. I still think the oil market is getting ready for a really big move down. I'll be looking for an ABCD to get back in and, and resell it. But uh, we've had these uh, tremendous amount of speculators in here. We had a four-day down move, and I, I – I was on the video, and I uh, talked to the folks about why. Let's get the crude oil up here. Here we are. Let's just move it right here so we can get it here. We sold it. You can see. Oh, better put the chart in, boys and girls. Let's get it up. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Uh, but be careful, folks. It's really difficult getting in today, so you don't want to uh, – you don't want to uh, – uh, try too long anyway you'll notice here we made the top up here at 9330 you see the key times there those are the 135 pattern i just brought that in that happened over a two-day period and uh, we went all the way down to 9850 i moved the stop up to uh, 9038 uh, to lock in a two thousand dollar profit and uh, now we're we're considerably above that. We're making the 61% retracement up here at 91.23. So what I'll be watching for uh, today, I haven't checked the, the uh, Treasury notes uh, or bonds, <laughs> the crude oil since the show started. But uh, I would say I would have been a seller there had I not had I not been busy doing other things. But uh, that's neither here. Let me double. Well, let's just forget it. What's the last on the uh, uh, the March crude? Could somebody tell me? Is it below 91.23? I'd like to know that just to see if it's. Uh, uh, f completing that Gartley like I thought. There it is right there. So that was the Gartley. We'll see if that works or not. Okay. Gives me a chance to sell it. All right. Here, let's move on to a few other things that are really uh, what I think are relatively important. Let's move on here to the uh, euro and the uh, dollar index. We'll start out today with the dollar index because we are now breaking down below the 78% level. Okay. And you'll see here, we're breaking below that 70% level. And the reason why that's important, folks, look straight above that low right there. And you'll see the 382 this morning. When that report came out, the dollar index rallied exactly to the 382 at 9602. It didn't even hit 9603. The high was 9602. That was the 382. And boy, that means that dollar is getting uh, going to get hammered, and that may be a reason why we've got gold moving. So let's get this back and talk a tiny bit about the euro, because the euro being half of what the 53% uh, of that dollar index, we need to know what's going on with that. 
in order to see where we are. And here's where we are. I said in the video last night that tried to buy the euro at a 382 retracement. You'll see that came in at 113.53. Uh, we only got down to 113.60. Uh, at 113.8, it missed it by about, uh, how many pips was that? About 20 pips. And, of course, we're popping above there now. We're breaking above that three, the 61% retracement that held all during the month of January. We're now breaking out to the upside. And that is a positive indication that uh, we're probably getting ready to see some really uh, – Rock and roll stuff in these uh, in these markets, especially uh, if we can get gold to close above, you know, eighteen uh, eighteen fifty four or something like that. And speaking of gold, uh, one of the things that we did today in the gold market because we like the patterns, uh, you know, where you see ABCDs, multiple ABCDs at fib points, we like to see them come in at the right time. And what we're going to do here is take a look at this gold market last night because here's where we were. I, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a break here. Hold on. Hold on here. Let's get it up here so we can get it together. There we go. All right. Here is the gold. Uh, the high today early in the morning, I posted this early, was uh, 1838.50. The FIB number was 1838.40. It went all the way down to 1827, a $12 move. Now, when you're risking $6 and you make $12, you know, you ought to lock up some. So what I did personally was to lock up some at uh, 29 and a half, and then I put it back out again at 38, and it went to 42. I'm still short at 1838 with my stop at 1844. I think a lot of this stuff, like John was talking about earlier in the show, is these reports are most, uh, most of the time they're just cannon fodder. You know, for the markets to go up and down and, you know, make a lot of hoopla. But boy, they do it in context with these numbers that makes it, uh, you know, really, really interesting to uh, find out. And um, also to break, break the uh, uh, talking about this techno stuff, folks, for the first time in three years since this COVID came out, I have a very dear friend, uh, Salt Lake City, that is fighting for his life. He's a He's a world-class doctor and a really super, super guy, and he is fighting for his life. He's in a coma right now, so, boy, if you can send out any prayers from, to him, uh, Dr. Bill would really like to uh, really need him anyways. He's just a super guy. We'll, we'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the open interest uh, yesterday in the NASDAQ and the S&P. Uh, it was dropping. It also dropped the day before. All during this rally, folks, there's been short covering. That is not new buying coming in. It's not bullish. At least it never used to be in the way we used to do commodities, but they still keep score by buyers and sellers. So that is something you want to pay close attention to. And now, boys and girls, sit by the old fireside. I got to tell you, my favorite story, probably definitely of all time. Time. I think you've probably heard it before, but I got a call today from my daughter, Laren, and she said, Dad, whatever you do, don't get on that radio show and tell them the story about me and you and the hockey team. And I said, well, honey, I didn't remember until you told me, but since uh, you told me that, I hope you're listening, sweetie, because I'm going to tell it again. It's February. It's Sunday. It's 42 years ago. We were watching the Olympics. Uh, the hockey team was on, and by golly, uh, the only reason we wanted to watch it, because Lair and like to see the movie stars. I was doing my charts in my chair. And we were home alone because uh, we both had colds from the other parts of the family. Jill and the mother went to a mass. And so we were there. It was about, oh, 1030. And Al Michaels was calling the show and everything. And I'm doing my charts. I'm not, I don't even like hockey, so I'm not paying any attention. And Laren's coloring. And she's looking around for the movie stars. And there was John Travolta who was in there. And Olivia uh, Newton-John and a few other people that she recognized. And she thought that was fun to watch. And Al Michaels, the score was four to three and they were playing uh, the Russians. I think it was Czechoslovakia. I think it was the Russians, whatever it was, Czechoslovakia. Anyway, it was four to three. And uh, Al Michaels was saying, boy, he said, they're four to three. He said, it was two minutes to go. He said, if the U.S. can score another goal, he said, pandemonium is going to break loose on the ice. And Laren comes up to me, says, Dad, what's pandemonium? And I've got a head cold. I'm working on my charts. Pandemonium, oh, a pandemonium. I said, that's a little dog that comes out on the ice with a little American flag on his back. About 30 seconds later, <laughs> Al, Mark, Al Michael starts screaming, pandemonium's breaking loose. Pandemonium's breaking loose. And Laren gets down on, the, on her knees, and she's looking at the big screen TV. And she said, well, Dad, Dad, where is it? I said, where's what? She said, the little dog pandemonium. And I fell out of my chair. It was a red tan chair. It was easy to, if you rolled it the wrong way. I fell out of the chair. And I'm laughing so hard that I can't control it. And in comes uh, the ex-wife and my daughter. And uh, Laren says, uh, or she, Jill said, oh, he's having a heart attack. And they come rushing over to me. And Laren says, let him die. Let him die. He's just making fun of me. Anyway. I told this story in 1995 when Mark and I were giving the seminar with the hockey players in the audience, which we didn't know. There were only 10 people there. We became good friends over the years and uh, had a wonderful time from it. But the moral to this story came about, oh, 20 years later, I'm in Las Vegas and I'm a meeting with Hallmark Cards and a bo bunch of other people. And they uh, asked to tell family stories. And I told that family story and I won a prize of 100 bucks. Plus, they made a, a handmade hockey uh 
uh, card that that I have uh, that I've kept all those years. But uh, that was fun. Anyway, she reminded me of that. But where's that little dog pandemonium? I'll tell you, I I don't think I've ever laughed that hard in my whole life. And uh, but it was quite funny, and we had a lot of fun with it through the years for sure. Okay, back to the markets. Any questions we might have, please call in eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Now get ready for something that's coming, boys and girls. I don't know when, but it's coming. And I'll tell you when. I'll, when it starts, we'll know for sure. Here's something we wanted. You're going to be going to be seeing this soon, but it coming to to a store near you. Here is what's happening. Look look what's happening here, folks. This happens to be the natural gas that was in a monster bull market. Okay, up there at 440. That was a 50% retracement from the high. You can see the 32% retracement. That's over one day. The reason why I bring it to your attention is, let me show you what happened the next day. And, and the next day, and the next day, look at the, each one of these red lines is a 382 retracement. Each one of those big red lines. Pay attention to that, folks, because when these markets starts trending down, let me tell you, that's as close to you're going to get to Knoxville to, or to uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky, because that thing is a, it's a monster. So you got to be really aware of that, and we certainly are here at uh, TFNN. That's an absolute must that we got to be doing it on. The other question that someone's asked is about the uh, hold on a second about the gold market, the fact that we had a profit in it and it went down and stuff. Folks, you have to go with what you see. That's a daily chart. The emotionalism of hitting 1842 may or may not work, but you lower your stop down. You're only in a stop now of about four dollars. So you've got a shot here to make some money if you're right. If you're wrong, you lose four bucks. That's a, remember this: the news of stuff that was today was so so crazy that nobody believed the report. That's how that's how wild the report was. Seven point five percent inflation. Heck, that we were at eight percent back in nineteen, you know, seventy four when this whole thing uh, came unglued. We are we we have to have a, a support here coming into these notes and bonds very shortly, because if we don't, and if we don't. Then we're going to have really serious problems. Now, let's take a little break. We'll take a vacation break, and we're going to go across the pond over to uh, the Germany. And you'll notice here Germany's been in this downtrend for quite a while, had a big rally this morning, and then the sell-off started when that report came out. And also when we look at the uh, – we want to look at the FTSE also because – the uh, ger the British market is under some pressure due to the uh, thing that's going on with the, where are you, Mr. Johnson, uh, Boris, Boris, where are you? Oh, gee, these charts are so darn small. Pretty soon we're going to have this take care of this right here. All right, here is uh, it's been looking a lot better for Boris. You see, he's had this nice little rally here. And uh, no, um, Winsky, uh, Norm, Norm called me this morning at six o'clock. His Internet connection is down in Naples. So we will have Norm on uh, Friday. He'll be on tomorrow. So we'll have him on Friday. And then Monday, I believe we have Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts will be on. And then we'll get other uh, people. Stan Harley will be ready next week, too. But this week he was uh, uh, loaded up quite a bit. So that's a, a good thing. And then we'll have Rich Anderson on to talk about the grains uh, also. So we'll keep that in mind here. Another question. Uh, all right, uh, let's move here. Okay, This just remember, folks, this volatility that we're seeing now is going to get worse and worse. So, oh, let's no, 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 no. It's going to get better and better. It's going to get more volatile and more volatile, and that's why these numbers that we deal with, six one eight seven eight six one two seven one six one eight, they're important numbers. So uh, we'll try to alert you to those. They don't always work, but uh, when they do, they work pretty good. So let's remind ourselves of that. Uh, I believe uh, I can't tell the time yet, but I think I got another minute or two. If you have any calls, uh, oh, Al says don't call right now because the lines are so lit up that you're just not able to uh, to get in uh, to the line right now. Uh, on tomorrow show, in the beginning, I want to go over some of these fang, fang stocks to show you the support and resistance levels. Using these same numbers that we use in commodities, they work in stocks too. I believe today's high Probably in Apple was a perfect 78% retracement uh, up there at 176 or something like that. I, I looked at it last night, and uh, we'll see what uh, see what it's doing. Well, we'll we'll so it's well I'll, well we'll see 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I uh, posted that wheat chart uh, when it was trading up there at 797. We're now trading at 782, so that's had a, a 15 cent drop here in the last hour, which uh, followed the Gartley pattern pretty nicely. They don't always work, but when they do, they look pretty good. Bonds trading down here all the way to 141.15. Uh, We're now trading at uh, 151.24. Uh, we, we broken through all major support here. We could get a rally. We're overdue for a rally, but the the key to watch is that note market because if that note market doesn't hold that 125 level, uh, look out because it's going to be very very nasty to uh, see if that's uh, if that's going to happen. And the key to that interest rate, it has nothing to do with the stocks, folks. The stocks can easily go up with rising interest rates. They've uh, gone up with lower interest rates, but they can go up with higher interest rates. We saw that during the 80s. If we look at the, uh, uh, if you'll look at the start, excuse me, during, that was the 70s, not the 80s. But the th the key, to, the real key here, the next two day here is with the S and P. It's at 4590. To 40, the low today is 45.10, which was a 61% retracement of yesterday and 50% of the day before. If we stay above those numbers, we're just going to be flat for the week. And that where they break out of, whether we get about 45.90 or 45.10, that's going to be the direction of where we think this market's going to be going. So let's uh, remind ourselves that's what we're that's what we're looking at as we see as we see these things because this is tremendous volatility, folks. 80 handles down and 70 handles back up. That's 150 handles. That's six thousand dollars, and we've only been trading you know two and a half three and a half hours. 
So that's a, that's a pretty wild volatility. We used to see that in a month. And now we're seeing it in a matter of hours. And we'll probably see it more and more as we look at some of these other things that are that are moving around here uh, pretty good. So uh, a lot, watch, keep an eye on that euro because if it closes above that big number up there, 114.30 or whatever it happens to be, you can see it on the chart. That'll tell you that we're probably looking at the dollar weakening and the euro strengthening. See you on the flip side tomorrow with Norman. He calls it to the minute Winsky. May live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.